Now, Spain has declared that it will not be joining the U.S.-led coalition aimed at safeguarding the Red Sea shipping from the Houthi rebels. Now, the Iran-backed Houthis have orchestrated several strikes on Red Sea shipping, prompting Spain's decision to abstain from the coalition. Last week, Pentagon had said that 20 nations had joined the Washington-led coalition to protect the key shipping lanes. Spain's government has been uncertain about this and later said that it will not participate while no reason has been given the Spanish press has said that the decision not to participate was driven by domestic politics. The announcement comes amidst rising tensions in the Red Sea. This is Yemen's Houthi rebels have carried out a number of attacks on what Houthis are describing as Israeli-affiliated ships or any ship that is found trading with Israel. Now, according to the latest that is coming in, the head of the Houthi delegation, Mohammed Abdul Salam, has emphasized on the fact that the Red Sea shipping lanes are safe here on this except for the ships that are bound for the Israeli ports in the latest attack the Houthis have targeted an Indian flagged Gabon owned crude oil tanker the US military has revealed that the vessel called MV Sai Baba had sent a distress call to a US warship in the region so far no injuries or any loss of human life has been reported in the ships that have come under attack the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command has also responded to the distress calls from one other ship that came under attack. This after a Norwegian flagged, owned and operated oil tanker reported a near miss of a Houthi drone. Since the Houthi attacks on merchant ships, merchant fleet, which moves everything from manufactured products and grains to oil and gas, have begun avoiding the southern Red Sea on a pretty large scale. However, the second biggest container line in the world, AP Mollemersk, has said that it is getting ready to start shipping again in the Red Sea. This comes after a recently established multinational maritime task force that aims to defend ships against attacks by the Houthi rebels. The latest announcement has come just two days after Maersk stated that it expected months of disruption in the Red Sea. The firm has said that the United States and its partners' formation of Operation Prosperity Guardian, a maritime task force, is the most welcome news for the entire industry. So the question is, is this a turning point for the disrupted global supply chains? Not really. The Maersk has emphasized that even if shipping in the Red Sea has resumed, the overall risk is not eliminated. The firm has declared that it will not hesitate to review the state of its workers and the vessel safety. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.